Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and back to our design pattern series. So in the last session, we have already seen that what do you mean by decorator design pattern? I hope uh, this is example. It's clear, a very simple, a layman example that I have already covered that how exactly we can create a normal coffee. And after adding the normal coffee, if you really want to add some extra decorators, like maybe you want to add some extra milk, extra sugar, extra cream in your coffee, so keep adding the decorators there, right? So can we do the same thing with respect to Selenium WebDriver and Java? Yes, of course we can do that. So this is like the design that I've already prepared for you guys. Uh, you can just take the screenshot of this design and then same thing at the time of interview also you can explain that. So I quickly go through it that what exactly I have done it here that I'm going to maintain one interface here to see this particular interface and then uh, this is my web element actions. So although slightly I have added the flavor of uh, the page object model also, I'll show you that how exactly it will work. So this is my web element actions. So this web element action is actually implementing this interface. In this interface, I'm just taking only two basic methods. Later on, if you really want to add more methods, you can add it here. Like we have click method and the send keys method also. I have added here. So this web element action is actually implementing this interface. So obviously it has to override these two methods the interface methods and this web element action is used only for the basic purpose that you simple normal do a dot click and then send keys and that's it no other features no other decorators right just like we did a we made a coffee here right simple get the description and get the cost but now i'm going to add this particular web element decorator base class something like this just like we did it here that coffee decorator base class same thing here that web element decorator base this is also implementing this so this class is also used to enter the value on the element and click on the element so obviously we have to override uh, these two methods as well and then we have to be it has to be the child of this particular parent interface and now i'm adding some extra decorators here just like we have while making the coffee we have a milk decorator so here we have the logging decorator Let's see, I really want to perform the click with the logs or with the system dot talent. Same thing with the send keys also. I really want to print with the logs. So in that case, the logging feature by using this particular logging decorator will be added automatically. Right. And then in that case, let's see, I'm going to create one more uh, locate a uh, decorator, weight decorator. So one more class that I'm going to create. This class will provide the feature to click on an element with the weight and override send keys method once again with the weight. So here I'm adding the weight features as well. So what happens whenever I'm going to create, let's see one test ng class. This is my login test class. And this is my page class that I'm going to maintain inside this page class. I'm going to maintain my page factory or page objects, whatever, and number of page actions that I'm going to write it here. And then I'm going to create the constructor to initialize the, you know, to initialize the page factory and everything. And then I'll keep adding the decorators that how exactly or what kind of uh, uh, features in order to perform click and send keys that you want. So I'll say, okay, fine. I have two choices. The choice number, this is my choice number one. So simple, normal feature that you can add it, normal dot click and dot send key. That's it. Nothing will happen. Like normal click and send keys will happen without logging, without wait. Second thing, I'm going to use this particular workflow where I can just simply add the lo logging decorator and then I can use this also that, okay, fine. I can just add weight decorator also so whenever i'm performing any dot click or dot send keys here it will perform what it will perform with the logs and with the weight so these two extra features if i really want to use with the help of decorators then i'm going to use this particular thing right so simple design let's see how to do this so the code is already written i have already written i don't want to spend time on writing the code it's very simple code so if you see that here, the first interface that we have created, web element decorator interface, this is my interface. In this particular interface, if you see that I have created these two methods, simple two abstract methods that I have created. And then after that, the normal web element actions, simple. This is your base web element action that I have created where like uh, this is actually implementing the web element decorator without any external decorators, simple dot click and send keys, it will perform. That's it. So obviously we have to override these two methods. I'm not adding any extra features here. Then I'm creating one uh, web element decorator base. See guys, this class can be abstract class also, right? Or a normal class also. 
okay so i'm adding one abstract class so that no one can create the object of this particular abstract class so if you really want to create the object sorry if you really want to don't want to create the object you can just make it abstract here because i want that client or my page classes should create the object of logging decorator and the weight decorator not web element decorator base so that's why i'm making it abstract here so this abstract class is also implementing what the web uh, element decorator interface this particular interface and uh, here i'm maintaining what one constructor here this constructor says okay fine you give me that a uh, web element decorator reference variable whatever the reference variable is there i'm just appending with the same uh, web element decorator reference variable here with the help of this keyword here i'm assigning it here and then i'm going to obviously override these two methods also that decorated whatever the decorated element dot click and then dot send keys i'm just going to use it here so yes of course these two click method and the send keys method i have already what i'm just going to take it from the web element decorator i have already overridden from there right so this is the base class that i have created this is my abstract class that is what we have written here now what we have to do after that i'm going to create two decorators one is the logging decorator so if you notice that okay again logging decorator is extending the base this one this one and then i'm going to override these two methods once again here that fine that uh, click and the send keys method with the print statement or you can add log 4 jpa logs also you can add it that you can do in real time projects and here i'm also adding the log here other than that there is no other feature so we are following the single responsibility principle as well that this class is responsible to perform the action with the logs no other things same thing with the weight decorator also we we have created weight means that i really want to add some explicitly weight here so this weight decorator is also extending the web element decorator base class this one and then i'm adding uh, these two features again overriding click and the send keys method with the proper weight so here you see that i have added the web driver weight here the explicitly weight that we have added on the basis of visibility of element these two things that we have added and then after that i'm entering and clicking on the elements simple right and then every obviously the weight decorator and the logging uh, decorator is having the its own constructor and calling the super class constructor and the same thing is over here as well here i have to maintain the driver also separately so that the same driver can be used in the web driver weight as well that's it right so and this is my login page class in the login page class what i have done in the login page class see that these are the three let's see locators that i have used and this is my application if you do a right click and then um, let's simply go to this application we are using this let's see first login page so username password and the login button so here i'm using uh, three locators here login button password and user input and then i'm going to create one constructor in the constructor first i'm initializing my page factory dot initialize element or you really want to maintain the by locator that also you can do it and then see this first of all the first use case that i'm saying this one that i shown you in the diagram also that this one add a normal web element action that's it don't do any other thing so in that case what i'll do in that case i simply create the object of web element actions that's it without any decorator and then i'm going to create this login method i'm supplying the username password and then i'm saying web element action use send keys method send keys method says you give me the element and the text so element are already available and passing the text and click on the login button okay so this is my page method is ready although this page method should return something so that i can uh, write an assertion also then i'll go back to my login uh, test so here i'm entering the value i'm creating the object of login page and then entering the username password so i'll do one thing i'll go to my login page uh, login method and here i'll return something it means when you log into this particular application let's say i'm going to log in give me the home page title so home page title is let's see my account just to confirm that okay login is successfully done or not so i'll do one thing that return driver dot get title so instead of void i'll be writing one string here and uh, here i'm going to use one assertion here so that my test will be completed assert dot assert equals let's quickly write one test ng assertion 
assert dot assert equals that this login method is giving me what the home page title. So here I'm writing this is my home title equal to this and the home title is the actual value and this is what you are expecting that uh, from the application my account I'm expecting. So here I'm simple writing my account here. That's it. Right. So what will happen? I'm going to create the object of login page from the login page. I'm going to call the login method supplying the correct username password and normal web element actions will be performed here. Right. No wait, no uh, logs, nothing. So let's see, is it really working or not? So I'm just going to run it and uh, let's see. So here you see that application is getting launched and then it will just simply launch the URL and there are no logs. Simple. The test is getting passed. It says, okay, fine. Test got passed. That's it. Now I'll do one thing. Option number two that I'm going to use. This is my option number two where the chain decorators that I really want to add, for example, this one. Okay. This option number two that web element action is equal to weight decorator. I'm going to add, let's see, logging decorator. And uh, along with that, the uh, the weight decorator also I'm adding it. So weight decorator as well as the logging decorator both. So it means I really want to wait also and the generate the logs as well, both of them together. So then let's see what happens. So I'm just going to run it from the my test class once again and run as a test ng. Okay, this is slightly advanced topic, but uh, if you notice, you see that yes, proper logs are coming. See that waiting for element, entering the value, waiting, entering, and then clicking on element. So logs also coming here. Now you see that, right? Now let's see if I really want to uh, use that. Okay, no, just don't use any weight or anything. The third option, let's see one more uh, use case that we can use it here that just generate the logs. That's it. No weight. Then in that case, what will happen? Only logs will be generated. So see this again, I'm running it. So I'm just going to uh, run it from here without any weight and we will check if we change the ID of any specific locator let's see is it really waiting or not so see that yeah it is absolutely working fine and generating the logs over here so there is no weight that we have applied here right okay so I'll do one thing now again go back to this and then let me just um, do one thing I'm deliberately changing the ID of this field input hyphen email one one so obviously now there is no weight concept, only logging decorator concept is applied. So in that case, uh, it should give me the error immediately. Right guys? Because why? Because here in the weight decorator, we have given the explicitly weight of 10 seconds here. So now it's not going to wait for 10 seconds because this weight decorator is not part of this. Right? So now in that case, it will give me the no such element exception immediately, not after 10 seconds. So let's see that as well, that this decorator is, uh, it's not added. Then in that case, is it really working or not? So only logging decorator is added, but you see that immediately it's giving me the error here, right? But now I'll do one thing that uh, now I go back to this particular login page. Let me just comment it out. I want, okay, no, you generate the logs also and the weight decorator as well as the logging decorator both. Right. And then deliberately checking, uh, changing the ID is wrong. Input one, one. So now it should not give me the error immediately. It should wait for 10 seconds and then it should give me the no such element exception. So let's run it again. So here you see that, uh, see, it's not giving me the error program is still running. It's not getting terminated. And after 10 seconds, it will throw the error. It will throw the exception. See, it's still waiting. It means weight decorator is properly applied. And now you see on the console output, you see that, okay, yeah, the timeout exception is coming. Your expected condition is not satisfied. Visibility of element and blah, blah, blah. It says that right for 10 seconds with 500 milliseconds interval. Right. So yes, this is absolutely working fine. Tomorrow you really want to add more uh, decorators. You just keep adding it and make sure that, okay, all the decorators are the, all the decorators are the child of web element decorator base. You want to add more and more features, more actions like is send keys or sorry, is displayed or is enabled or other things also you really want to add. You can just keep adding it. 
So I hope this is uh, clear. A simple example with Selenium Web Driver Java, with respect to web element perform uh, action perform how to perform that, right? That's it. So if you like it, these kind of videos, these kind of concept, please subscribe to the channel. and then share with your friends and colleagues who are looking for uh, some really good uh, interview questions plus design patterns in java and selenium i hope this will help you and your friends a lot with this note thank you so much i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all guys